how to create a fitness coaching services store on Shopify and make money online. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get start. Let's get started first by showing you how you can create your account in this platform. So here, let's open a new tab and then enter Shopify. Click on the first link that we have, which is this one, and let's click on it. And here, this is the platform. Click on start a free trial. And then enter your email, and then you can start your free three days. And after the three days, you can choose the $1 plan, which is this one I'm going to show you. Here it is, you have to select a plan to extend your Shopify trial for just $1 per month for your first three months. So that's basically free again. $1 per month is nothing. So that's why I'm saying this platform is the best platform you can create your online store in it. So guys, after creating your account, you will have this dashboard and here in your left, you will have everything you will need in order to customize this store of yours or in order to run it. So here you have the home, then you have the orders. It's where you can see your total orders. You can see your order ordered item over time, the returns. You can also see your fulfilled orders over time and all of those things. Then we have the products. So here you can add your product in here, add a product, or you can import other products from other websites. Then we have the customers. It's where you can check everything about your customers. You can add new customers or import them from other websites. Then you have the content and the analytics. And here the analytics is very important. It's where you can check all of your data. You can see your total sales, the sales by channel. You can also check your online store sessions. And here you can check your average order value as well. Then you have the marketing and the discounts. And here you have the online store. It's where you can optimize your theme and you can optimize how your store looks. And here you have the settings. It's where you can change your store's name. By clicking on this pencil in here, you can choose, you can change the store name. For example, let's go with my store or something like Bob Need. And here you can enter your store phone and the store email. Let's save those changes. And here after changing the store name, by scrolling down, you can change the store currency as well. And here you can change to the billing. So here you can add a payment method. You can change, you can see your billing currency. And here you can check your subscriptions. If you want to change the subscription, also you can change your payments. And here you can activate your PayPal, or you can add another payment method. Here you can search for another payment method, for example, Payoneer. It takes a little bit of time to load. Here we have Prepay, PaySera, PaySafe Card, ViroPay, LinePay. We have a lot of payment methods, but we cannot use Payoneer, I don't know why. And also we cannot use Stripe, I think because I'm in Morocco, I can't use that in here. So you can make a lot of changes in the settings, the languages as well, you can change them in here. So let's close the settings and let's head to the online store in order to change our online store to start customizing it. So here, let's head to the online store. And here, this is the current theme we're using. Click on view your store. 
in order to see how your store is looking like so this is how the store is looking let's close this window and by scrolling down you'll be able to see all of these themes click on the visit theme store in order to choose another theme so here you can filter by the price the industry let's filter here let's see just the three themes so here you can choose one of these themes and use it on your store they are all free so just take a look at those themes and choose the one that fits your requirements after that you will need first to click on publish when choosing your theme you will find it in the theme library it will not be your current theme you will need to publish it first then it will be your current theme after that click on customize in order to change your theme so here this is where you're going to change your theme and it's very easy guys i will show you some two examples i will change the announcement bar and the header just to show you that it's very easy you just need to click on the area that you want to change for example i want to change the announcement bar and here you can change the color you can change a lot of options in here turn on or turn off so i'm going to turn on this option auto rotate announcements and i'm going to give it four seconds time range i'm going to go back then i'm going to change what's written inside the announcement bar i'm going to make it free free shipping worldwide like that then i'm going to come back and add another announcement which will be this time 50% off today only and that's it then i'm going to come back and here it is this is my announcement bar and it's changing every five seconds between these two texts then i'm going to change the header I'm going to add my logo by clicking on theme settings and here click on logo then you will be able to drop your logo so guys as you can see it's very easy to work on this platform just one thing make sure to click on save whenever you're done with making changes so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends